Hello students, welcome to NEV Physics. I am Sunil Saha and in this video you will study about Einstein's photoelectric effect with sufficient animations. Now let's move to the content. Before we move into Einstein's photoelectric effect, it's very much important to understand threshold frequency. Threshold frequency is the minimum frequency of an incident light which can eject out the electrons from the surface of material. Let's understand this more better with the help of this animation. Here A, B and C are three different sources of photons. The photons from source A has the frequency greater than the threshold frequency. Such photons can easily knock out the electrons from the surface of material. Photons from source B has the frequency equal to the threshold frequency. Such photons are just able to eject out the electrons from the surface of material and do not have sufficient energy to knock them out. Now the photons from source C has the frequency less than the threshold frequency and in this case the photons are not even able to eject out the electrons. The next term that we need to understand is work function. The work function is the minimum amount of energy required to eject out an electron from the surface of material. As we saw that, the photon from source B has the frequency equal to the threshold frequency and this photon is able to eject out the electron from the surface of material without knocking them out. So, the energy of this photon must be equal to the work function that is denoted by phi naught. The next term is threshold wavelength. Threshold wavelength is the wavelength corresponding to the threshold frequency and the relation between threshold wavelength and threshold frequency is given by threshold frequency is equal to velocity of photon divided by threshold wavelength. Now let's come to our main topic that is Einstein's photoelectric effect. The energy of a photon is given by h times f. Here h is the Planck's constant and f is the frequency of photon. This energy of photon is used in two different ways. Some part of the energy of photon is used to eject the electron from the surface of material and the remaining energy of the photon is used to provide kinetic energy to the electron after it is ejected. Let's understand it this way. Consider a photon from source A with energy equal to h times f. When this photon hits the material, first of all an electron is ejected from the surface of material. The energy used in this process is equal to the work function of the material. Then after that, the electron is thrown away with the velocity Vmax. And in this process, the energy used is equal to the kinetic energy gained by the electron. So this can be written as equation. H times F is equal to work function plus kinetic energy. Substituting the values of work function and kinetic energy, this equation can be written as follow. Further simplifying it, we get the following equation. And this is the famous equation known as Einstein's photoelectric equation. Finally, this equation can also be written in terms of wavelength as follow. If you are finding the videos useful, please like it and share with your friends. Also, don't forget to drop your valuable feedback in the comment box. See you in the next video. Till then, keep loving physics.